Alright guys, time to go back again today. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far. With the World Championship just around the corner, the predictions have started to come out from some of the pro players. Octane's back on the YouTube ground. We absolutely love to see that. Talking about who he thinks are his pick for winning the World Championship and it may not be exactly who you expect it to be. And tweet your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you were new as always. I greatly appreciate it. I'm really upset the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. First of all, thought this was pretty interesting from Joe Nubsy. Maybe there aren't better days ahead. Octane kind of comes out with this like Phoenix type gift then go to right out of the pocket. I am so hyped for you says Joe Nubsy and that's of course Crone out CDL Intel indicating that yeah yes there's going to be a lot happening this offseason. I imagine a lot of that may be implied by Joe Nubsy's treat right here about what exactly could be going on with the Seattle Surge. Who knows what's happening there? Things I'm sure are changing. They're having discussions. I'm like if I'm Seattle Surge right now I've probably known that I'm out of the World Championship for a couple of months. If I'm the other teams as well I'm thinking a similar thing. I'm already in discussions with some players I might want to bring in and um, of course if they're currently signed to a pro team and they say they're playing at champs that might not be so ideal but um, certainly some of the amateur talent right now that's playing out there you might have your eyes on a couple of players that um, maybe some of the other teams are looking at right because some of these other squads are also pretty good at picking up young talent we see Florida Mutineers do it quite a lot they got Yeezen on their sub bench relatively recently so if you're a team like Seattle and you actually want to say okay yes now is the time to finally change our culture and change our ideas about how exactly we're going to build our team for next season not just stack it with kind of veterans and hope it works it's um, probably not going to be the way forward we're going to have to look into some amateur players and uh, what that means for Joey Nubsy over there as the coaching staff, what that means for Octane, definitely um, definitely remains to be seen. But uh, things, I'm sure, will come clear over the coming uh, days and weeks and months, no doubt. Jake Lucky says this I thought was kind of interesting. There was some discussion about um, Banks talking on some Keemstar podcast or whatever this is. It's confirmed that FaZe is doing a collaboration with Optic Gaming, some sort of um, some sort of merch drop or something. I think it was like leaked in some video a while ago. I remember seeing something about it. But uh, yeah, that's happening in the near future. It would be interesting, right, with FaZe and Optic doing some collab just after CDL Champs if they do match up at the world championship right who comes out on top definitely a storyline like to give you eyes and after they well they maybe do will do battle and then um, and then do a collaboration just after that does conclude this that you guys may not have seen actually that came out yesterday activision tells charlie intel that rumors of a modern warfare 3 remaster are actually false it's very rare that um, activision comes out and actually like denies rumors they usually just kind of sit on stuff like this and uh, the fact that uh, they are actually denying this rumor i guess is um is well uh, to be honest i haven't even heard this rumor Did you guys heard this rumor that modern warfare 3 was getting remastered i personally I hadn't heard it but um, it might be something that happens eventually right because Modern Warfare 2 campaign got remastered and Modern Warfare originally did so I guess um, that's maybe where the rumor sparked from but apparently that's not going to be the case anytime soon but um, maybe that means it's more likely that Black Ops 2 gets remastered I don't really know exactly what these guys are working on I'm sure they have a lot to think about right now because a lot going on over there and especially with the difficulty of the Warzone stuff going on right now as well so the World Championship is just around the corner Crim6 is looking to go for the back to back he won it last year on the Dallas Empire won it twice more as well um, you know definitely a legend in the World Championship, right? And Dallas Empire, to be fair, as a team, have a decent chance to go back to back here. They're somewhat overlooked, maybe going into this tournament. I think that um, they didn't have the greatest result, of course, of the stage five major. They looked very good at stage four, and um, they probably didn't play their best Call of Duty this past weekend. But to be fair, Crimson tends to turn up at the World Championship, and uh, last year he got the playoffs MVP. And with Illy actually improving, as he seems to have been these last several months or so, Shotzi doing his thing and Vivid getting right up there as well. I think Dallas Empire is certainly in the mix right here, and they're not in a bad spot at all, especially because in the first round of winners they're going to be playing up against the Minnesota Rocker and um, that is a matchup that to be fair you've got a lot of film on Rocker right? you can watch every single map that they played this past weekend and prepare for them very nicely indeed and maybe that is how Dallas get the job done of course I'm pretty sure Rocker have a great record against Dallas so far this season but um yeah still maybe things will change to the world championship that series means so much right to winners round one that is a uh, definitely defines how the rest of the tournament is going to go so big series for all involved no doubt but uh, there's of course two teams that have to buy in the winners brackets and none of those are the Dallas Empire so champs tickets are most certainly live see you in los angeles august 19th through the 22nd not too long from now everything does indeed kick off and as i said this is the bracket right here so of course you would expect that the two teams in um, winners round two i guess should be the favorites for the tournament given they have to win less series to win the entire thing last year i'm pretty sure it was phase up here and dallas up here they were the number one and number two seed this time it's phase and ultra and um they went through to the winners final dallas won the winners final and then they went through to the grand finals and won that as well last year there was a 1-0 advantage for the team that came from the winners 
side of the grand finals this year i'm not even sure that it's going to be the case i'm sure that's a big storyline to talk about the players will be frustrated about when we get to champs but uh, this is how the bracket sits at the present time so who do you think are favorites coming into this event of course we can do power rankings in the coming days but um, that doesn't necessarily indicate exactly who's favorites right because you've got to look at how the bracket's going to play out and uh, which teams match up well against other teams and um, that's certainly a consideration and despite phase still probably being odds on favorites to win the entire event and still being the best team on balance i think from a lot of people's expectations not necessarily the case though definitely octane has some interesting things to say on who he thinks is the best team in the game and well who's actually going to win the world championship my pick to win the 2021 call of duty world championship it's gonna be toronto ultra now i know what you're thinking sam they just choked a 5-0 lead at the stage five major they did but I think they also should have won the stage four major, um, but they choked out as well. So I think that they're they're going to curve the choking. Hopefully, uh, did I say choked five oh four or whatever. Um, hopefully they they put a stop to that. Uh, I think that they have been the best team for quite some time now. They just haven't been able to really um, put it together at the very end. I do think again that they should have won the stage four major, and I do think they should have won the stage five major as well. Um, they weren't in the grand final of stage four, but there was a couple matches or the match that they had versus. Uh, phase they really just you know should have beat them and i think that with phase kind of teetering right now um obviously i think minnesota's next up uh i still think toronto is the best team in the game yes again they did choke a 4 lead but that you know if they don't lose full from that that's kind of the, my one caveat here if they don't like blow up the team and completely lose their minds from that 4-0 lead that's you know obviously that could happen but if they regain they play how they were at a just a little bit of i just a you can see a little bit of ice in there. I think that uh, you're looking at your 2021 champs. So this is the tier list maker that Octane puts together right here. Pick to win, Dark Horse favorite elimination run, and early exit. So I guess we can start at the bottom. Early exit, subliners, followed me. So I don't think anyone's particularly surprised about that. If Clay does come out, as we looked at earlier today, the fact of the matter is, like, um, the team is probably not going to have too much success, right? It's going to be difficult for them to turn things around. Los Angeles Thieves as well. I think that they can make some sort of losers run. But, the, you know, the fact of the matter is, Thieves are going to have such a tough losers run. I'm pretty sure they play the... Um, they play the lower side, I think. So whoever loses Empire and Rocker, they play Thieves. And then, like, I mean, the run that they're going to have would be absolutely monstrous if they can pull it off. I think the Thieves can maybe win, like, one or two rounds here. But, um, I mean, think about that, right? Like, Empire or Rocker are going to play Thieves. And, like, one of those is going to go out straight away in top eight. But um, it's pretty scary to think about, to be honest, how stacked that side of the bracket is. So, anyway, I think this totally makes sense. Now, Optic Chicago may be in a similar spot. The difficulty I see for Optic, right, is that it's a similar thing, really, to Los Angeles Thieves in a way that they can win series against the top teams but um, they just don't seem to have the consistency from series to series like it's tough for me to say that optic are going to win like three great series against top teams in a row like um, i don't really see them winning like you know winners round one winners round two and winners round three like back to back to back maybe they can and maybe they catch fire maybe the momentum is there but um so far this series or so far this season sorry they haven't really done that they've had some great results and then the next round they look a bit slower and um, it won't quite work out for them and they'll drop down to losers at some point so i think locked in's probably on the money that optic will find their way in losers but um, still in losers they could make some something happen they tend to be pretty damn good down there in, in that side of the bracket and who knows right if they beat subliners they can certainly beat phase and then what happens in the winners final who knows but if they play ultra we know that their record so far this season against ultra has not been particularly good so then there's the favorites category which is kind of interesting right so phase and rocker go in here now he does say in the video that okay yeah favorites phase probably still the favorites for the event but he doesn't consider them to actually be the best team in the game right now which is pretty interesting and rocker right up here as well i think his take on rocker is very interesting the fact that yes rocker they did fantastic this past weekend and had a crazy run to the tournament victory but um maybe the stars aligned in a sense but also you've got to consider the fact that rocker now everyone is going to be looking at their gameplay this is where phase in a sense may actually have it kind of nice because well they're looking at a situation where not everyone is, is trying to hunt them down anymore rocker are the team that's getting hunted down everyone's looking at all the vod from rocker this past weekend and phase they lost the series no one's really looking at how phase played those matches so they have a decent chance to actually come out here and, um, and rejuvenate well for the world championship whereas dallas Empire are going to be spending the next two weeks preparing, you know, steadfast for Minnesota Rocker and uh, Atlanta Face kind of have to wait their opponent in the winner's side. But uh, yeah, I think this is probably fair enough. And then Dallas Empire was the dark horse. I think is a relatively decent pick. I think they have a decent chance to go back to back. They have a bracket where it is possible at the very least if they can make the run through that lower side as we just did see. But a pick to win being Toronto Ultra, I think is very interesting indeed. I like, I, I respect it to a great degree, right? I'll tend saying this because Toronto, of course, um, the European guys, the best European team we've ever had in Call of Duty history 
really, to be honest, the, the events and the results that they've had consistently. Now, whether they can get this job done is, um, honestly, I'm not necessarily sure I'd predict them to do this. The way they threw away their grand final was disgusting. But um, at the end of the day, it's not out of the realms of possibility that they, well, they bounce back from this, right? A lot of people said, it was interesting, right? Because Octane tweeted out, there's no recovering from a loss like this. And then he does the, the video a few days later to say, actually, yeah, I think they're going to win the world championship, which um, would be an incredible storyline. Now, I think they have the talent to do so. And again, maybe they're one of those teams that gets uh, not necessarily overlooked, but maybe they're slightly less focused on because Rocket did what they did at the past weekend of the major. So maybe Toronto can find a way here to, to sneak through and actually get the job done. I mean, it's going to be so hard though, right? But then again, Ultra is very rare that Ultra lose a series like um, convincingly. Like, yes, they got three by Rocker in the winners' finals, but outside of that, they're always like they're always there and thereabouts, right? And it's the same with Atlanta Phase. So that's that. Those are the kind of teams that I think I'm scared about. I think that um, it's tough to look past Phase for this season. I think honestly, like um, it may have just been the situation where yes, they had a tough time. They won the stage four major, they won stage three, they won stage one. They had a really tough time at the stage five major. But at champs, things could be a different story. And I think the Phase, to me, I think I'm still probably going to pick them as favourites for this tournament. But um, yeah, Toronto, I guess right behind them does make it some degree of sense. And I'm sure these matches are going to come down a lot to game fives, right? And um, especially against some of these top teams. And that's where Ultra have been pretty damn good. Of course, in the game nine, they weren't so good. They didn't quite have the ice factor there. And um, yeah, maybe it is that kind of ice factor that they need to develop, right? And uh, get a little bit better than it was against Rocker there in the grand finals of the stage five major if they want to win champs. But if they can do that and if they can bounce back, they have the talent, they have the ability to do so. And uh, maybe they'll be somewhat overlooked right here. And I would love to see some sort of upset crazy, right? I'd love to see Ultra win, obviously. But um, Faze is maybe the more probable pick. But um, I would certainly take right now the entire feel of the other seven teams over Atlanta phase, which is maybe something that I wouldn't have necessarily done before the stage five major kicked off. This is what Methods has to say, though, was kind of funny. Cod froze as soon as their season ends, you know, I go to Warzone, got this off the Reddit. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously, some players are going to Warzone, some players are Octane. A guy on the YouTube content, absolutely love to see that. And Warzone, of course, in an interesting spot right now, where they're probably at one of the low points that it's had since, of course, the game originally did come out. And well, Nature right here and Crimson's having a good time on the timeline. Crimson certainly getting ready to make a run here at the World Championship. But in terms of your thoughts on all this stuff in the comment section below, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. Really upside the YouTube icon and I do enjoy this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well. And I've grown the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you much as always. Take care. And I will see you next time.